close call for a police training instructor. He was shot with a blank round by a student officer. Now, this is Sky 4 helicopter video of the scene this morning at FSCJ's North Campus in Northwest Jacksonville. The instructor is a 25-year JSO veteran. We're told he is okay. Channel 4's Janice Harris is live at FSCJ. And Janice, investigators believe that shooter made a mistake in what turned out to be an intense training situation. Kent, JSO saying that they believe that that student in the class who's also a correctional officer to, had no intent on trying to hurt the instructor. In fact, that it was a mistake. But tonight, investigators are still trying to figure out why the student in that class didn't follow instructions in the first place. An active shooter training class at FSCJ North came to a halt after Tyler Kovacs, a five-month JSO corrections officer, shot his instructor, Chip Williams, with a starter pistol in the back instead of the simulation gun Kovacs was supposed to use. On the left is an image of a bullet from a simulation gun, and on the right, an example of a blank round like the one that hit Williams. Now JSO is considering changing the class. It causes me to want to go back and look and see procedurally, is there something that we need to do to eliminate that blank gun from this? The instructors wear protective gear for safety, but JSO said Kovacs should have never touched the instructor's gun or put the blank gun to William's back. Crime and safety analyst Gil Smith says if the student officer had used the simulation gun on William's back, his injuries could have been more severe. It would have been worse. It wouldn't have been fatal because it's a non-lethal round with a simulation round. Now, code case team will investigate what happened. Tonight, JSO is grateful that Chip Williams will be okay, but they wonder why Kovacs didn't follow instructions. I also asked our crime and safety analyst Gil Smith whether or not Kovacs could lose his job because of this. He said this is a training environment. Accidents can happen. However, if investigators, unless investigators find out that Kovacs had some kind of malicious intent or planned on doing this, otherwise he should be able to keep his job, he believes. Live at FSCJ North, Janice Harris, Channel 4, The Local Station.